guys how you doing it's a beautiful day and I hope everyone has been doing great um, I'm somewhere on a mountain it's a beautiful fantastic day uh, I'm gonna have lots of activities I'll show you guys uh, later but but it, this reminded me of about two years ago uh, when I had gone to Cape Town for my birthday and I decided to do paragliding and let me tell you guys about it yeah so you know paragliding i just describe it as you know you're on a mountain and then you run and then you you jump you jump off off um off a, off a mountain and then i remember i was very very scared uh to do it and when they were securing everything on me i kept asking that guy just just make sure that everything is fine don't drop me then i was with my sister my small sister and then i remember that my sister actually did it and then she went and ran off the mountain and I was like oh my god like um, I can't I can't back out because I was actually gonna back out I was like my god this is just too scary then when we were about to go this guy realized I'm not moving and what he did is like oh you're still not secured so I turned I did this and then he just hoisted up the whole parachute and then he just told me run I'll never forget that day the adrenaline but here's the funny thing as we move closer to the edge of the mountain, um, or rather the slope, my legs became weak and I couldn't feel them anymore. So they went dead, they went limb when we were just at the edge. So it's like I fell instead of, because you're supposed to run in that momentum, you're supposed to now push you off the mountain. And so we were dragging on the ground because he was, he had to carry me. Um, and it was too late because the, the parachute thing had been hoisted up. Like we had to get off the mountain. So my face was actually next to the ground because we were basically gliding um, on the ground. And I'll never forget that experience. I was like, oh my God, today is just the end. But he kept up the momentum. He never gave up on me. He carried, he basically carried me and we finally got off the mountain. And you can check check some of the pictures out from that whole experience so it just taught me about fear and 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 and, and doing things that we're really scared of scared of because not not everything is for everyone but i think i think i think we need to be daring um in stuff that we do um the way life nowadays is life dictates for us to be very very safe sorry for the for the for the lights for the sound uh i'm just in the middle of so many activities but um, I just wanted to bring a point around being daring and just doing stuff that's different. Uh, we second guess ourselves too much, especially as women. Um, in the workplace, um, in the stuff that we do, it's always like, can I really do it? Am I, am I really able to, to, to go through this? And, 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 and we need to stop. So I think I want to challenge guys. Um, think of one thing that you've always want to do. And and do it take that risk take that jump and and just do it so today i'm gonna do zip lining i'm really scared i realize i'm more scared of stuff since i became a mom uh, of course for obvious reasons but i'm gonna do zip lining today and i'm gonna show you guys but i'm really really extremely scared but we're gonna do this yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I'm very excited. You gotta appreciate nature. This place is beautiful and it's so relaxing. And sometimes you just need to, you know, get away from all the hustle of every day. Just take a breather. So I'm really quite enjoying this. I honestly think I should do such things more often feeling so relaxed and then the air is so fresh and, and clean um, this wonderful god-given gift of beautiful scenery that we need to take more advantage of this is just a fun video today i just want to have fun but i actually really think i'm pretty good at this it's a beautiful place Woo! So now for my first activity. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit of archery. Let's see. I actually think I'm pretty good at it. I don't I've never even done it, but 
let's see. So now we're getting ready for the whole archery experience. I'm just gonna get set up. So yeah, I'm right-handed. This is an arm guard to go to the less dominant hand to protect your arm being hit by the string of the ball. <laughs> awesome stuff. Oh, she looks like a water woman. Huh? The black part it's known as the uh, arrow rest. You have the bowstring. Between the bowstring there are two knocking points. Mm -hmm. So this is where you knock your arrow and you lay it at the arrow rest. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you have the arrow itself. Okay guys, so I'm about to take a practice shot to see if I've actually got any instructions. So let's see how this one goes. Stand over line. Yes, over the line. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Take right. one arrow. Okay. Odd. The other side. Yeah. The other side. Mm -hmm. Then we hit. 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 The first practice shot was fantastic. I was, I actually hit the the red area, as you can see my board. That's good. Keep going. So let's try again. Hello, go for it. Woo! Yellow! I told you I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> for a first time, I'm really impressed with myself. <laughs> this was pretty cool. I love this. I think I'm gonna do this much more often. Maybe even professionally. How much did I score? Fifty-six. Done with archery. I think I've actually found a new hobby, and it's not. It's never too late to start activities in your, you know, later on in life and stuff. So I think, I really think I want to do this, like archery. I've always wanted to do it. I, I've spoken about it for, in, for years. And today is when I finally did it. And yeah, I'm definitely going to get more time to do more activities around it. So next, zip line. Okay, to the practice area, please. Next. Just take your time. <laughs> take your time, please. We are not going to hurry. And then we are on. Still so strapping up, eh? Hey, this is my colleague Josh. Are you nervous? <laughs> great stuff, great stuff. Excitement! So many people. Hey, Solian. Hey. Are you scared? Yes, very. But Dinesh says safety first. So yeah. yeah. Strapping. Nice. Yeah. For 45 minutes. Yeah. We're going to be in Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think you're gonna punk out once you see that place? No, never. Yes. And that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Cool. Woo. See you guys. Bye. This is the zip lining practice place. <laughs> I, I'm supposed to go here next, and like they actually have a practice area so that you can be put to know exactly what to do before you actually go do the real zip lining. And it was fun. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, <laughs> well, 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 well. In life, you, you have to do stuff that really, really scares you. And I'm about to go into one of them. I'm so, so excited. But I'm actually nervous at the same time. I think I've just made them check this thing like 50 times. But yeah. Woo! Mama Kwan. I'm going to practice I don't know how this goes. People are making fun of me because of safety checks. <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> Wish me love! My God! Yes, please! Wow! That was great! Oh, that 
was <coughs> I'm forgetting. <laughs> that was this? awesome, guys. The you have to zip line. Oh my god, can I do that again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! When we're going back, like from the zip lining area back to the meeting area, I've run out of breath. I'm so tired, like I am that unfit, guys. I'm not fit at all. So I joined the zip lining, but now the walk back. Oh my god, my poor heart. Go, 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 go. I'm trying, Josh. Go, 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 go. I'm trying. So, guys. Take care of your health. She's Monday. Going to the gym on Monday. To Kutane gym. Let's meet at the gym. Josh. <laughs> gym Monday. Gym Monday. Yeah. Gym Monday. Okay, so zip planning was fantastic. That hike was torture, torture, torture. I am definitely back in the gym um, on Monday. As you can see, I'm having my last naughty meal with this lamb and some, I think, naan and some pilau. But from Monday. We're back to healthy things. People need to figure out is that you're not too late, you're not too old or too late to get new hobbies. I think today I've just found stuff that I'm really really passionate about. And just a challenge to you guys: get out, and it doesn't even have to be a far place. Just look for something. Play football. I like what guys do in our office. They they play football. They go for other games. Just do something to be active. So. This is where I start with my high BMI and high visceral fat and we will see where we go from here. So guys, challenge to you.